local gym now cutting ties with USA Gymnastics. That decision coming after the sentencing of Dr. Larry Nassar, who molested over 150 young girls and women. Our Cole Miller joins us with more on this. He's going beyond the headlines. Cole? Well, Jeff, good evening. We're talking about the children's gym over there at Northeast 16th and Sandy, where more than 1,300 kids come to learn the sport. And it's where I'm told the decision to ditch USA Gymnastics was an easy one. How much is a little girl worth? How much is a young woman worth? Seven days, more than 150 survivors sharing their stories and packing this Michigan courtroom, coming face to face with their abuser, former USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser, who will now likely spend the rest of his life behind bars. It is my honor and privilege to sentence you. Judge Rosemarie Aquilina with these strong words for Nasser. I've just signed your death warrant. And tonight, the children's gym in Northeast Portland calling it quits with that governing body. I mean, it's intense. It's sad to hear all the testimony from the athletes and survivors. Andrea Lawrence is the gym's chief operating officer. And then as I hear more and more of what USA Gymnastics supposedly knew or turned a blind eye on, that's devastating. We just couldn't be associated with them any longer. Lawrence says with this gym being non-competitive, it won't mean much. They only used that affiliation with USA Gymnastics for training resources and to connect with others in the sport. But all other competitive gyms, she says, now have a decision to make. Lawrence sent out this email to more than 1,100 families, reading in part, quote, we hope that you and your family continue to trust that we are providing a safe environment for your children. The children's gym management and staff will continue to be a positive advocate for children across our communities. And while we are a small, small gym in comparison to other gyms that have pull with USA Gymnastics, it gets people talking and that change and reform hopefully continuing on. And it is worth noting that Nasser treated those gymnasts at Michigan State University, where today the athletic director resigned. The university's president stepped down just hours after Wednesday's sentencing. Jeff raising questions about who knew what and for how long. Back to you. Yeah, and I guess uh, Michigan's governor tonight says he's launching an investigation. Yeah. Cole, thank you. Mm -hmm.